god. How are you doing? Wow, I'm good. <laughs> Meet Zach and Knox. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun tonight, yes. aren't we? Yes. I'm excited because I love horseback riding. Again, this is right in my comfort zone, and I'm wanting to see if Amber's finally got that lighthearted, spontaneous side to keep the relationship fun. Put your left foot in the stirrup. Yeah, or you can do it just like I that. Think... There you go. Just follow me. <laughs> I feel like a little kid all over again. Isn't this pretty fun? Yeah. I think me and Steven have a really good connection right now. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna tell Steven oh. that I actually really do like him. And during this last date, I wanna just have more of an in-depth conversation to see like what the future holds for both of us. What a spot, huh? Good, baby. Woo! Good job. See, you know what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this was nice. Man. <laughs> that is how you start a date. <laughs> Cheers to looking solid on a horse. I was impressed. Playing it off. That's right. What was your uh, favorite part of the farm? Talking to your mom and dad. You met my dad, and that's a big thing because I don't I don't bring anyone around my family like unless it's something real and meaningful because I don't want my family to meet temporary people. Correct. So that was already like so out of the norm for yeah. me. With Amber, it seems like every conversation spins into a very in-depth, very serious conversation. For a very long time, like I felt like I didn't deserve to be loved. I've seen this fun, lighthearted side a couple times from her. At the Honky Tonk, she was jumping up on the countertop. Uh, and so I've seen it here and there. I just don't want things to uh, take a turn back to the serious side today. I'm a champagne drinking guy now. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, but I know like um, when we had the talk yesterday, like what, what I think it was, was it, it was the day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I tend to put everyone above myself. Mm -hmm. um, I try to make sure everyone around me is okay. So that's why I'm really appreciative of you. I was having a hard time just understanding myself. Maybe I'm missing flaws that I'm seeing in myself or in someone else. Mm -hmm. Like, I've had a lot of self-reflection. Like, okay, maybe because I don't put myself out there. It's just it's tough. Yeah. Amber is so deep, so heavy. You know, I was really hoping for a lighthearted, fun, spontaneous date. Where's your head at? Like, with me and you? Mm -hmm. I, just being straightforward. You know, for me, I'm trying to figure out everything. Uh, you know, you and I have so many great conversations, but I feel like maybe I'm almost too serious whenever I'm talking to you and I don't bring out that fun side in you and wondering if in a relationship, are we supposed to be like giddy and fun or is it that you and I are so open and honest with each other, it's almost like more like, like super deep friends. I just thought in these moments that you wanted a deep combo, so that's why I got deep. But what's that balance? Yeah. You know, maybe it's not relationship based. Maybe we're just meant to be, you know, always stay in contact, always be there for each other. And I think that may be the case. You know? Yeah. I, so. No, I completely understand. Okay. I do. Well, you are so incredible. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm give you a hug. I don't want to hug. I just want to go. Okay. That's fine. Just knowing how sweet of a person Amber is, this breakup is very difficult, but I know it had to happen. With how late we are in the process, there's no need to waste anyone's time. It just sucks, because I put so much of myself out there and I put so much of myself into this. It's just really hard. I came here with genuine intentions, so it was like I just wanted to get it right from once. I don't want you to think any part of this was you. Seriously, I don't want you to think that. I felt like I was feeling again. So I said, I don't want to record anymore. Seeing the look on Amber's face, you could see the pain behind her eyes. I'll see you later. Oh my God. There's nothing worse than hurting good people. It's not a good feeling. Right now, <laughs> oh, it backfired on me so bad. But I'm a deep individual. I was actually getting to the funny side of me. I was warming up and becoming more myself. I guess I brought it out too late. Yeah.